Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and that technical rainbow in between. Welcome back to Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. Let's not wait around and dive right into the video. We start our journey by being invaded. Our first invader is good old Qui Quili Quilag Queefing. Queefing. Fuck it. His name is Queefing. He was someone who invaded us before, actually, in the Bellarat Tower. I guess he's just salty he didn't make it into the video. Well, now you did. No healing for you. Stop jumping! Stop jumping, you fucking shit! And now you're dead. Well done. Speaking of well done, this man drops us something very, very important. That's a surprise tool that can help us later. With that out of the way, I believe it's about time we got our revenge on a certain giant furnace head that has been a very rude to us in the past. Okay, I am good. I am safe. I'm alive. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh no! Ah, 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 oh, oh, what the fuck? Ah, ah, fuck me! What just happened? I'm leaving. Ah. Yes, indeed, it's him, and it's time we put him down. What? He stepped on my. F Stepped on my horse, actually. Okay. There you go. Can you heal? I know, right? Very rude. How could he? You don't step on horse. Yes. Indeed, you don't. Why would you? Mm -hmm. Right. I'll let you. Oh God! This is a big explosion. Ah! Sir, stop moving. Okay, thank you. This actually helps me out a lot. Okay, that's one broken. Oh, ah, fuck. I jumped too late. Jumping and stomping. Indeed. There we go. I'm gonna ah, get stomped on. That's fine. That's fine. There we go. That should drop him. Yeah, yeah, buddy. There we go. He is down to the ground. Right in the fucking face. Mm. Oh shit, let's go! Oh god. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. The horse took it for me. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you gotta just. Ah, there we go. Sacrifice a horse or two. Okay, that's one leg broken again. As you can see, I've had a little bit of an experience with this because uh, on my personal. Other save, which wasn't a New Game Plus, by the way. That's why I realized, oh, New Game Plus, difficulty fucking stacks, it seems. There we go, now he should be coming down. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm on the right side, I'm on the right side. And this should be death. <laughs> and become the bear. <laughs> Ooh, that moon looks pretty. It wasn't that difficult, I had his moves downloaded and so he died. Like he should have, because he's a cunt. Fuck him. He gave us a new physics tier that we won't use this run, but who knows, we may use it in the future. Fun fact, while writing the script, I looked up the word physic, and it turns out it's an archaic term for the practice of medicine generally, but also for laxatives. So. We are taking laxatives to make us stronger. Just gotta shit out the bad and take in the good. Fair. We unlock our full potential by shitting, apparently. I do feel very light after I shit. Makes sense. Once that was over, we made our way to get some tools to help us in our adventures. Going through two ancient forges. And from them, we get a few weapons. Now, armed to the teeth. I wrote teeth in the script. Teeth. Armed to the teeth. Which reminds me of the tooth whip in the Bonnie village. Yeah, the Shadow Realm is kinda messed up. Fuck me, it's horrible. The things they did. In a way, though, the massacre by Mesmer was not unwarranted. They did sort of bring it upon themselves, essentially. Causing a mass genocide and wiping out a group of people completely. But this is no way to solve these issues. Because a purge like this is likely to kill a lot of innocent lives as well. Not everyone on the bad side is really bad. Some don't know, or can't fight back, 
or are too scared to. There's a reason why you don't generalize against people. Because you paint everyone in a group as a monster and end up hurting and causing more suffering in the world in general. Sometimes you just need to take the higher ground when you have the chance and persecute only those who have done the deed. Punishing a child for their father's sin is not how you lessen violence. It's not a perfect solution, but at least it helps reducing the spread of violence. As much as I understand America and her order to do this, it still isn't right. Sorry, got a little heavy there. This game has really been making me think a lot lately. And that's a good thing. I'm glad it's complex and nothing is just, oh, this is good, this is bad. There is nuance, as there is in life. I appreciate that. I love a game that can make me think. And the best part is, the story isn't shoved right into my face. I had to find all of this information. It's not forcing me into a cutscene or engaging with things I don't want to engage in. If I want to learn about the world because I care enough, I can. But it's my choice. Something that I really like. Nowadays a lot of dialogue kind of feels very forced. It feels more as if you're just telling me to feel this way or feel that way rather than just allowing the scene to play out and let me feel it because I can see it in front of me. I really appreciate this game. Anyways, the hippo fight. And it's dead. I did it. I killed the legendary super hippo. Does this mean I can claim the One Piece now? Guess I'll just have to keep searching the Grand Line. I've, I've never fucking watched One Piece. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I just looked it up a little bit, and that's about it. Moving on from the Super Saiyan Hippo, the Hedgehog, we made our way through and went to a secret area to find a painting and nothing else. I swear, people put messages everywhere saying there's a hidden wall, but the actual hidden wall? No message. I love this community. I'll be back here later. Moving on. We get inside after absolutely destroying a motherfucker that is of a group that made my life a living hell for a while. You'll know if you watch the third stream or the second video. The links to the playlist will be in the description. Speaking of which, if you're enjoying the video so far, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it as it helps me immensely. I want to try and at least reach 500 subscribers by next year. Hit that bell icon so you can stay up to date with all my latest videos and live streams. And tell me in the comments how I'm playing the game wrong. And that I should be using the Schluppel Waffle with the amazing Grundle Fondle Ash of War. Because it makes the game easier or harder or whatever else. It sounds like a weird breakfast combo. Now you may have noticed I didn't use the hippo. What? <laughs> I'm keeping that in. What? you know it <laughs> it didn't use the hippo oh my god oh that's Tyson holy shit anyways what I was trying to say was you may have noticed that I uh, didn't use the new weapon that I got against the hippo or at least not use it to beat him that's mostly because I didn't get a chance to test it out and practice with it so I decided why not practice with it and went to fight a dragon, but, um, I don't think the game can handle this. Either that, or my laptop. Either way, I fight the dragon, and for some reason, the people here decide I'm the bigger threat. Even though they're currently engaged with a literal fucking dragon. What? Who shot me? Who hit me? What hit me? What? What? 
Oh, that guy with the bow, I see. So I decide to help them kill the dragon. After I kill them. Priorities. They tried to kill me first and it's self-defense. Anyways, I used my summon here because it felt really annoying and I needed the aggro off of me. But eventually the dragon meets its end. After which I go grab another weapon. Uh, one that I won't use in this playthrough, but I have been having an absolute blast with it in PvP. And since we're killing a Blacksteel Knights... This is like the fifth time I'm having to re-record this because of fucking audio issues, so I want this video out soon. So here you go, chuckle fucks. Firstly, we go and fight another Blacksteel Knight to get the Ash of War that gives me wings because the guy is huffing Red B Red Bull? Red Bull? Red Bull. Okay, I need to do my attack. There we go. There we go. Come on. Yeah, boy. <laughs> and stay down. That was nice. That was a nice little boss fight. After that, we make a mad dash through the Shadow Keep and make our way into a fucking hole. Because why not? Let's go into all the holes today. Once we go through the hole and up an elevator, we come to a very discreet location where nothing can possibly go wrong. Totally not a boss room right ahead of us. Oh, excuse me, sir. Can you tell me which way to go? Oh, shit. Fuck. Can you tell I'm fucking tired? I am fucking tired. I want to be done with this. Hi. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. Watch me fight Commander Gayass. At least you don't have to record this 11 fucking times. Ha 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 Can you tell that I'm really pissed off? Come on. Come on. Yes! Woo! Fucking did it! Let's fucking go! I love this weapon. I absolutely love this weapon. Anyways, moving on from him, apparently the man does not have legs, and also he's a friend of Radon's, and also best friends with Mesmer. That's the news that I have to break to him. Unfortunate, because he's gonna kick my ass for this. So we go in and probably kill his wife, girlfriend, lover, whatever the fuck. I don't know why she was here with him. And also with his pants. Man doesn't have legs for one. And secondly, why does she have his pants? Was she wearing them? She can't use her legs either. But I guess she was wearing them. I don't know. It's just one of those mysteries for some reason. Probably they were fucking. Who knows? Anyways, I finish that, then I start going in two different directions, so I'm gonna show you both. Here's me going deep into another hole, and then taking a leap of faith, and then fighting an ancient dragon man that does whatever an ancient dragon can. Not really, but, you know, close enough. And then on the other end, I go into that room where you had that secret wall, passage, thing, whatever. Illusory wall, there we go, that's the word. And then we walk forward and get into a fucking coffin like a sane person would, because of course, why not? Now I know you want to know what happens next, but for that you're going to have to watch the next video. So, till then, I'll see you guys later. Do all the YouTube things, like, share, subscribe and all that. I want to reach 500 subscribers by the end of next year. And yeah, I'm gonna go now and work on a different video. Because fuck me, this thing is cursed. Goodbye.